beauties and welcome back to my channel it's your girl beauty budgets here and today i will be announcing my giveaway winners now i figured it wasn't fair it wasn't fair to let people keep guessing when someone already answered all of them correctly yesterday so i'm just gonna go ahead and announce the winner today but I've been feeling so generous and I want to be fair to everybody because I realize some people that are subscribed to my channel don't watch other budgeters. They only watch me. So I want to give a giveaway for those people as well. So yes, we are doing another giveaway. Hey, I, I, I think I'm going to do it my normal way where I just randomly select someone. Um, and it might have to wait another week before uh, while I get paid because I did not think about that when I did my budget or I might just have to adjust my budget some. Um, Thursday is normally the day that I discuss my budget. So instead of going through my budget, um, I will just do a quick overview. If you are new to my channel, on my channel, I hand out jobs. I have a job to do and you have a job to do. My job is to be open, honest, and transparent and share as much of my budgeting, my income, and as much tips as I can. And then your job now, yep, you get a job. Your job will be to like, comment, and subscribe. And then if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when I'll be posting my next video. Now go on ahead. Do your little job. Do your little job. You don't want to lose this little job. Okay, so go ahead and do your little job. I'll be giving people time to do their job because then they be like, I don't have enough time. I do your job. Do it right now. If you do it right now, get it out the way right now. Just say, hey, comment. Hey, I'm here. Like, subscribe. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's get right into this video. So, I'm so excited to like share because y'all had a lot of people were spot on, but they were like missing one or two. Oh, I'm so excited. So, I will a clip of what i did and then i put a clip of the actual youtuber that i was impersonating i, I tried y'all i tried and a uh, it was a it was a lot of people who actually got the full list so i did get enough for them to know who i was talking about at least <laughs> so let's get right into this hey i am so happy that you're here hey my name is Taylor, and I'm so happy that you're here. That's right. That was your girl, Taylor Budgets. She always says, hey. I, I just, psh. so a lot of people, a lot of people um, actually got her correct. Person number two. Hello, baddies, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about hey baddies welcome back to the channel so today yes that's my girl from baddies and budget well her channel is actually called oh my fro budgets but um her website and everything um for her i guess her company or things that she sells is baddies and budgets so that's why she always says hey baddies um so she's so awesome number three because guess what y'all we just got Hey, cha-ching. As you can tell by today's title, honey, we just got paid. Cha-ching. Anybody else get paid? I mean, I, okay, so she has a longer um, intro. I literally know her whole <laughs> intro. I can say it better while she, while I'm watching the video, um, but I love her intro. I think it, it's amazing. Um, and very catchy so make sure you go ahead and check out my girl sweet chop saves let's do another one <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today we have our first paycheck hi guys welcome back to my channel so today um i was actually surprised a lot of people didn't get this one um she was actually the reason that i started doing cash this cash stuffing system so pink x budgets she's so calm and like hi guys like she's very serene when she talks it's really relaxing to hear her talk then she has like this slight like 
accent as well i originally said i wanted to do my page like hers um but it, it's just not me like me <laughs> so um i couldn't do it i didn't want to fake it i wanted to be my own authentic self but um i really love her channel just for the sereneness of it what's up youtube it's your girl and i am back with another video what is up youtube it's your girl rochelle and i am back with another video Rochelle Addison, oh my god. So she's like kind of the second YouTuber that I watch. She does all things like travel. She does all things like literally talking about her income and where it, how it got there and then things that she did. Like she's more of a tutorial kind of base. Not tutorial, but I guess she's more, you know, transparent and sharing her actual journey. Um, she just got her mortgage down to the um, teens so it's 16,000 which is so amazing make sure you check her out she's awesome as well on this channel we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free my name is Brittany on this channel we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free that was Brittany the crafty budgeter so she is so awesome and she is really literally working her way out of debt like her channel is so inspiring if you are um looking to become debt free because she honey she is paying that debt off i mean fat and it seems like it's so fast but she literally has a plan so check her out the last person hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is nurse funds my name is nurse funds i love that i think that is so cute it's so new, unique that's why i remember her just because of that like it's a little simple gestures um i would suggest to do that you do in every single video and i think that's what catches people's eye um my do your little job is something that i think catches people eye and reminds them of me um so yeah just find something that you do consistently that will catch people um but check out her channel Alrighty, so you guys did so amazing i can't believe you guys got all of those right even with my bad impersonation so kudos to you so the person who got all of them correct is. Congrats to Danny on a dollar. That's so amazing. You got them all correct and you were the first one to get them all correct. Um, someone almost beat you, but she missed one and she submitted it after your time. So congratulations, Danny. So let's go right into my budget now. All right. So, oh no, this is August. How am I in August? I already filled out my budget sheet for September because I knew this was going to be a long video so I'm right with you paycheck one budget all right so if you are new to my channel what I do is first add up my whole income for the month so I have my income from my husband and myself and then I have the child tax credit income um, not for the month but for these next two weeks so I'm gonna get 3900 um, then what I do is I put in every bill that falls within this two weeks. So I get paid on the 17th again. So this bill, I can't wait to, you know, it's due on the 15th. So if I wait to the 17th, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a late fee. So I have to pay everything that falls between this paycheck here and the next paycheck. So for the month of September, it's pretty hefty for this first paycheck. Um, it looks like it came out to $2,568. So yeah, it was pretty hefty. And then um, these are my cash envelopes. So these are expenses that I have to do. The amounts can change, but I pretty much have to put aside money for food, gas, and stuff like that. Um, so I just went ahead and put my normal amounts. Um, what you can do if you are new to budgeting is you can just look at your um, bank statements or really sit down and think, okay, how many times do I fill up my gas in the week? Or how much money does it take to fill up my tank for a week? And then times that by two if you get paid every two weeks. Um, so that's why weekly I have to put $80 
at least in my gas tank because we need at least $80 every two weeks. So that's the cash envelopes that came out to a total of $360. And then whatever's left over will go to your goals and your sinking funds. And this is things like Thanksgiving, travel, like whatever else, your saving money, emergency funds, your kids, whatever else is left that you need to save for on a more like monthly basis or annual basis so the cash envelopes are something that you're going to be spending daily these are something that you might spend like annually like christmas is annually so you're saving up little by little so that you don't come out of a lump sum all at one time what i did was for christmas i have a goal of i think 1500 um and then whenever i started this i just divided by, by the number of months i had left and i came up to the calculation that i needed at least 50 dollars per paycheck to um reach my goal i also have a christmas savings tracker that this one only goes up to 1300 or almost 14 so i know i gotta put a little bit extra than what's on the tracker but i have been doing it and it'll tell me what are the minimum amounts that I need to put in each week to reach this goal. So that's why I always put in at least $50 so that I know I'm guaranteed to reach this goal. So my sinking funds or my goals came out to $860 and then I will have some money left over which I will just keep in my account for buffer. Buffer is having some money in the checkings account, checking account that will be for things that you didn't for unplanned expenses or things that you didn't budget for like if there is a um i don't know a afterpay or something that you forgot about uh you'll have money in the account so that you don't go to the negative or so that something doesn't get skipped or not paid because there was no money there because you took it all out and assigned it a place to go because I find it's very necessary for me because there's always something extra, especially when you have kids like my stepson's sports fees. This just popped up, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's an expense that we have to pay by Friday. So it's like, I'll be able to pay it by Friday for my paycheck, but if I did not have a paycheck coming, at least I would have some money in my buffer to pay this. Um, so that's what we do also um it's kind of hard so i might have to change my budget because school fees were what, a lot more than i thought they were going to be with we're in a new school district so my stepson's school fees are 500 dollars, and then my daughter's school fees are i think 200 a piece so that's 900 dollars that i did not budget for um that's gonna be due soon <laughs> So I might have to change this whole budget around just so that I could attack them, them school fees. Um, but yeah, so at least I do have my buffer. I don't want to use all my buffer though because I like to have it for emergencies. So if there's any way that I can make sure I keep the buffer in there, um, I will try to at all costs. So yes, that is why I did not um, budget out my whole paycheck this time because I wanted to add more money into the buffer let's see what's left for the buffer so we have 112 dollars left to go into my buffer that's awesome i already have money in the buffer so this is a this is a great amount to add to something that's already had money <laughs> I used to only add like five dollars eight dollars ten dollars but literally you know that that don't help at all so hopefully that explains budgeting for you um and congratulations to the winner i'm so happy for you and i will be announcing my next giveaway probably on my cash stuffing video which will be on sunday september 5th Alrighty, guys i love you so much for watching thank you so much for watching as always until next time Peace.